Okay, so what I want to talk about here is that uh, is um, what I want to talk about here is the arrangement of flagella. Okay, so there's different names for these, and there's different arrangements of flagella. Okay, which is um, rotary fl flagella. If you're not um, familiar, is involved in motility. Okay, it's involved in movement of the bacteria, and there's this perichricus. Okay, perichricus. Um, have flagella randomly distributed around the cell. So essentially I'm just going to give you like a little drawing of this. I mean this is not going to be anything fancy. So essentially what they have is you know these flagella, these rotary flagella, kind of randomly distributed around the entire cell. And an example of this that actually has this is E. coli. Okay, so E. coli is one of the bacteria that actually has this perichricus um, randomly distributed flagella around the cell. Okay, now there's lophotrichuris, um, which have flagella grouped together on one side of the cell. Um, so that's a little different. Okay, they they look more like this. Okay, you have a cell here, and then you just have these flagella all kind of distributed on this one side of the cell. Okay. And again, these, the, this all works in the process of motility, okay? You want to be able to move. Certain bacteria are able to move, others aren't, but, it, you know, what we're talking about specifically here are ones that do contain flagellum. So that would be another example, and this is um, Lophotrichuris. Um, it's another type of flagella arrangement. Then there's Monotrichuris, um, which, you know, if you really think about it, the, the name just means that you have a cell with a single flagella on one side, okay? So you have a single flagella at one end. That's it. Monotrichus. Then you could have amphitrichus, which essentially is almost the same as mono, only you have one flagella on both sides. So here's your cell. You have a flagella here and you have a flagella over here, okay? So you have one on both sides. That's known as amphitrichus.